Yeah. Okay, great. We've been looking at waves on a string and thinking about the factors which affect the uh, speed of the wave on a string. And one of the possible factors is the tension on the string. And I've set up an experiment to do that. Uh, we're going to put uh, a wave on the string where the wavelength of the wave is the length of the string. Now remember that a wavelength means that we have an area of positive displacement and an area of negative displacement on the whole length of the string. And that will tell us the wavelength of the wave. And I'm not going to change that in this experiment. I've set it up to be a constant uh, of two meters of the wavelength of the string. Uh, what we've got is a source of vibration so that we can make waves appear on the string. And the string passes over a pulley at the other end and there is a weight hanging from the end of the string which allows us to change the tension in the string. And we're going to measure the frequency of the vibrating source and if we know the wavelength and the frequency, we can use the wave equation to find the speed of the wave. And that's a calculation that you're going to be doing. So let's have a look at the apparatus. That's over here. What we've got is our piece of string vibrating up and down there. I hope you can see the vibration. Here is the vibration generator. It's a mechanical oscillator and it'll move up and down at a frequency that we can control here from this signal generator. Here's the string, it's two meters long, you can see that. I've laid up two um, uh, meter rulers here. And uh, at the other end, the string passes over a pulley. And down here, I hope you can see it's in the dark, uh, a weight hanging on the pulley. So the tension in the string is equal to the weight hanging on the pulley. And at the moment, the weight on this pulley is one Newton. So we've got a tension of one Newton in the string. And if I come back over here to the signal generator, let's have a look and see what frequency gives good waves on the string. Well, that's vibrating up and down quite nicely, I think. And the frequency there, according to the signal generator, is 13.5 hertz. So let me put that up on the board, the frequency of 13.5 hertz for a tension of one Newton. Uh, and uh, Musa is going to help uh, enormously by showing us what happens when we put extra weights on here. I'm now going to put the weight up to two newtons and that will increase the tension on the string to two newtons and we'll see what that does to the frequency. Uh, I think you can see now the string really isn't vibrating. The frequency is all wrong so we've got to change the frequency. Let's see what frequency we get that will cause good vibrations on the string. 15, 16, 17, 18, 9. Oh, look, it's beginning to vibrate. Now the vibrations are quite strong. And what's the frequency? The frequency is 20.0 hertz. So I'm going to write that on the board, 20.0 hertz for a tension of two newtons, 20.0 hertz. And we're going to carry on doing that. I'll carry on with the video, adding more weights, uh, measuring the frequency that we get. Uh, we know that the wavelength is always two meters because we did not change the length of the string. And you're going to use the wave equation, this equation here, to find the wave speed in meters per second for each different tension. Uh, and I'll set that up and complete the experiment uh, after the camera's finished running and put the data on the board and you'll be able to see that later on. So uh, wish me luck and we'll get on with that now. You can turn off the camera. Thanks very much. Well, uh, I finished the experiment and uh, here are all the different tensions from one Newton up to 10 Newtons. Here are the different frequencies that I measured. The wavelength was always the same. We didn't change the length of the string and you're going to use the wave equation to take the frequency, F in Hertz, multiply by the wavelength to get the wave speed. And then you'll have a relationship between the tension in the string and the wave speed, and you're going to do the calculations there. So just to remind you what we were looking at, I'm going to take the camera off its tripod. Here's our vibration generator a vibrating piece of string. You can see it vibrating up and down very nicely there. One 
wavelength of the string equal to two meters. There's two meter rulers. And at the other end of the string, the string passes over a pulley. And you can see all the masses that I've added so that we end up with a tension in the string, a maximum tension of 10 newtons. And there we are. There's the table of results again. And you might like to freeze the video in order to see that. Let me put the camera back on the stand so that you can see all that easily. There's the table of results. Uh, you may freeze the video at this point in order to see the data.